Welcome to Paros, Greece. Paros is known for their beautiful beaches. It is located in the same island group as the very famous Greek islands Mykonos and Santorini, but is less crowded and more budget friendly than those islands. If you're new here, my name is Erica and my husband Josh and I just spent two weeks traveling in Italy and Greece for a honeymoon. In this vlog, we'll take you to our third stop, Paros. We had a relaxing time enjoying the gorgeous beaches, having a boat day, and strolling the cutest Greek streets. I hope you hit subscribe and enjoy coming along our Greek adventure. Hello everyone and welcome to Greece. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Erica and welcome to my honeymoon vlog series. My husband and I, Josh, Josh say hi. We are on a two week trip throughout Europe. Uh, we started in Italy, did Venice and Verona. So once you watch this vlog, go back and check out those ones. And now we are in Greece. We are on the island of Peros and this is our very first time ever in Greece and we are loving it. We got here last night, went out, had dinner, walked around. It is so gorgeous here, oh my gosh. And we are just so excited to be here. And we're really excited for today because we have our first full beach day. We've been doing a lot of go, 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 city exploring and all of that. So we're super, super stoked to be at the beach today and enjoy the sea and everything. And yeah, we're really excited to take you guys along. So make sure you subscribe and let me give you a very quick little Airbnb tour of our Airbnb because it is so stinking cute. First of all, please just don't mind the mess we got here last night. So it's not as perfectly clean as when we first arrived, but we have this beautiful bed here. And then we have like a little kitchenette area with the fridge and like a little stove and anything we might need if we want to like cook something. We have a little table over here. And then this is a closet, a little bench stool, and then this is the bathroom, and the shower is so cool. It's made out of this, I don't know what this is, limestone or marble, but it's so cool. Love the little sink area. Hi. And yeah, this is our little cutesy bathroom. And then... We got a little TV, which already has Netflix on there for us. So that was awesome. We watched a movie last night. A nice full-length mirror. Also, the bed is super comfortable. And the best part, let me show you our little patio. I will be sure to have this Airbnb linked down below, but now it's 10.30 and we gotta go because we have a reservation at a beach bar. It's called Cactus Beach and it's about a 20 minute drive from here. We are staying, I forgot to tell you, we are staying in the town of, I'm gonna pronounce it so wrong. Do you know how to pronounce it? Noas, Noasa? No, that is so wrong. That is so wrong. I'm just gonna put the, how to, what, what it is down here. Um, yeah, so we're staying in that town and we need to drive kind of towards the other side of the island. So we better go because I don't want to be late for the beach. So let's go. We had a reservation at the Cactus Beach Club, which is located on the southeastern side of the island on a beach called Lagares. Now there are so many beach clubs to choose from in Peros. This one was recommended to us by our Airbnb host and had decent prices. I had reserved two beach beds for 50 euro online, but when we got there, they said it was only 30 euro. I'm not sure why they gave us that price, but I was not gonna complain. This beach club had a restaurant and a bar, but the waiters also would come up to your sunbeds and take your orders so you didn't have to get into the restaurant. We ordered some cocktails and then later had lunch. We had tzatziki, which was so good, and then Josh got a burger and I had a Caesar salad. Nothing out of this world, but the food hit the spot. I spent most of my time sipping my cocktail, reading my book, and then swimming in the sea. The temperature of the water could not have been more perfect. I had so much fun just floating and swimming around. And just a little side note, if you're planning on visiting beaches in Europe, I highly recommend getting a pair of water shoes. This beach in particular wasn't too rocky, but a lot of beaches in Europe can be pebble slash rocky beaches. I got these shoes off Amazon for under $30 and I'll have them linked down below. We are back from our day at the beach, took showers, changed, freshened up, and honestly, the beach day was great. It went by so fast. I feel like I was there for only two hours, but we were there for four hours and just had a beach day. Laid by, laid by the beach, I read my book, uh, listened to music, and swam in the ocean, which was so nice. You can actually kind of like float in the ocean too, which was really fun. Um, so yeah, now that we're all ready, we have decided to go to Perikia, which is, I'm like 90% sure, the capital of Paros. And we just kind of want to go walk around there, check it out, eat. And yeah, we don't really have a plan, just want to go explore. 
explore and check it out. That's kind of like our vibes for Paros is like not too much of a plan, not too much of like sightseeing, more just like enjoying the ocean and just chilling and hanging out. So yeah, that's what our plan is next. And yeah, I guess that's kind of all I have to say for right now. So let's go ahead and go to Prekia. After walking around for a little bit, I wanted to check out some of the stores. Now, I'm not a big shopper, but I was on the hunt for an evil eye necklace or bracelet. I immediately fell in love with all the stores here. They had so many cute things from Pero souvenirs to clothes and lots of jewelry stores as well. I don't know what it was about Greece, but I just seriously love shopping here. I think maybe because I've never been to Greece before, so all the Greek merch and souvenirs was really exciting to me. After a bit of shopping, it was time for dinner. There were so many great restaurants with awesome views of the sea. We picked this one and ended up timing our dinner perfectly as the sun was setting, which was so gorgeous. I got a calamari, which was nice change from all the pasta I ate in Italy, and Josh got a seafood risotto. Once we ate dinner, we wanted to walk around a bit more. The streets were popping in Prekia. There was a mix of all kinds of travelers too, from couples to families, solo travelers, everybody was there. And we had such a nice time enjoying the atmosphere and got a gelato too. We are back in the Airbnb right now and I thought I'd just give you guys like my first initial thoughts of Peros uh, because today was our first full day. And first of all, let's talk about getting around Peros. So we have actually rented a car and I think you need to rent some sort of transportation no matter what. So the options are like a scooter, like a Vespa, an ATV or a car. And I think Josh and I were talking about this on our drive back. I think we're really glad we rented the car because Peros is pretty big and we've been doing like 15 minute to 30 minute drives which would be fine in a scooter ATV, but I find this island very dry and dusty. So if you're gonna go for a really long drive like that, you're kinda gonna get like some dust probably flown up in you. And I don't know, that just might not be that enjoyable. So we've been enjoying the car, although right now where Josh is trying to find a place to park because the three parking spots that we had are all full um, where we're staying at this Airbnb, because I guess every renter has a car, which is kind of annoying. But um, today when we went down to Perikia, there was no problem finding parking. So there is like, there's places like it says public parking and you can park there. Um, so yeah, that was just kind of the one annoying thing we dealt with, but we really have liked using the car today. And honestly, like Peros, I find like the man-made buildings, the beauty and not so much the landscape so like when you're driving around as you saw it's not like stunning it's not lush it's, it's a very dry climate here but when you get to like the towns that are on the water side those are just absolutely gorgeous and like walking through the cobblestone streets and they're just so pretty and they have like pretty trees there and like flowering trees and that's really gorgeous but when you go like more inland into the island it's not as pretty. Um, so you're really just kind of driving to go to the beaches and stuff like that. And we really liked Perikia tonight. A lot of good restaurants, lots of shopping. I got so much stuff. I'll have to do a haul at the end of this trip. Um, well, a lot of stuff for me. I don't tend to like get a lot of things when I travel. I'm not like a souvenir collector, but I feel like every store I was going into, I was like, oh, I want that, I want that. Well, this is one thing I got. Let me flip it around. I got a little evil eye necklace like I had to right I honestly probably will get a ring at some point too because they're so cute but yeah we had a really great day good meal beautiful view oh my gosh watching the sunset was so gorgeous and the ferry boats coming in really really nice but yeah that was our day one in Paros and then tomorrow is our next full day and we have rented a boat pretty much for the whole whole day and I'm so excited to go out on the boat and be out on the water and take you guys along so that is it for day one and I will see you guys in the morning good morning from Greece it is boat day we are up we are on our way to the port where we're gonna pick up the boat and we grabbed some snacks last night from like a little supermarket I have to show you guys these snacks. I'll have to show you later, but they, they're Lay's. They have different Lay's potato chips fla flavors and they have a tzatziki flavor. Had to get it. Can't wait to try it. Um, and yeah, we're probably gonna try
try and find like a little bakery or somewhere to pick up a sandwich. We have about a half hour drive to where the boat is. And I will have all the information on where or who we rented the boat from in the description box below in case you're interested. But yeah, we're just gonna take the boat out today. Maybe go to Antiparos, which is like a little bit smaller island right next door. Um, I think there's like some like caves or like blue lagoons or something that you can swim at from the very little research I did this morning. But yeah, we're just excited to get out and be on a boat. We love being on a boat. I mean, who doesn't? So um, yeah, that's the plan today. And now we're headed to the port. The company we rented the boat from was called Peros Boat Rental. When we arrived, we signed some paperwork, then they showed us a map of the island and gave us ideas of where to go and also where not to drive the boat. Then they gave us a quick lesson on how to drive the boat and anchor and then we were out on our way. Well, our plan was to stop at like a little cafe and get a sandwich, which we did find close to where the boat was. But then we ordered a sandwich and then they were like, oh, we had an accident in the kitchen. We can't make your sandwich, but we can make you a pizza. We're like, okay, that sounds good. Um, but then that took like 45 minutes. So then we were late to getting on the boat. So it was kind of a crazy um, start to the day. And the pizza was like, ugh. Not the best, but it's whatever. We got on the boat. We're now on the boat, obviously. And we are sort of um, by the island of Antiparos. Well, yeah, it's right there. So that's Antiparos. And then behind me is sort of like this like little private, I don't think it's private, but um, like a little baby island. And they gave us a little map and showed us where to go. And we're just kind of chilling, hanging out, um, swimming eating, sunbathing, all of that. So uh, we're gonna start here and then kind of work our way back to where we um, launch the boat. And then I think they gave us directions to go to that blue lagoon, which I definitely wanna see, but this water already here is so stunning. That is gorgeous. And there's also some other boats here. Pretty nice. And yeah, Josh, say hi. <laughs> and also, this is apparently the campground over here in Antiparos. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful day here in Paros, Greece. After our swim, we decided to drive to the Blue Lagoon. On our drive over there, we passed some windsurfers. If that's something you're interested, I highly recommend checking it out because there was so many windsurfers out there. And then we arrived to the Blue Lagoon and you can already see the drastic change in the blue water. It was even more stunning in person. We have made it to the Blue Lagoon. It was a pretty choppy ride over, but it didn't take as long as we thought it was going to. And this water is unbelievable. Like, I've never seen that kind of turquoise blue water. It's so pretty. No big deal. We're definitely the smallest boat here, but we're gonna have some fun at the Blue Lagoon. Definitely not as shallow as the other spot, is it? No. No. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. So, really wish I had some noodles or flotation devices. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out here. It is about. It's 2:30. 2:30. Okay, I couldn't wait any longer. I have to open and try the tzatziki flavored lays. So here we go, giving it a try. Ooh, look at that, good chip. Okay, that is so good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like sour cream and onion, but yeah, that's really good. What do you think? I like it. are now on our way back to the Airbnb. Um, it's about five o'clock now. Yeah. So we were out on the boat for like four ish hours. Again, that flew by just like how yesterday at the beach day flew by. Um, there was one spot we didn't end up going to out, out on the sea. It was like, like these, um, Cliffs, like cliffs they said you could drive out to with your boat and then walk up the cliffs and jump off. We did want to do it, it just was like really choppy out on the water and that boat is not very big so it's pretty rough ride. And so we didn't 
don't want to keep going farther and farther out and then have to go all the way back to where we dropped off the boat. So we just did that first swimming spot and then the Blue Lagoon, which was both so gorgeous. Swam around there. And yeah, we enjoyed the boat. Um, it came out to 200 euro, 200 euros, yeah. in including um, filling up a little bit of the tank. It was 180 for reservation and mm -hmm. 20 for the gas. Yep. Um, and then we were just saying like on our drive back, uh, it might have been nice to like do like a boat tour with a group because that way it's a bigger boat and they can take you everywhere and you don't have to worry about driving it but we did enjoy just it being us two and having like more of that private private experience more relaxed like I took a really good nap on the boat at one point so you can do both I mean it's pick and choose if you're you know want to be on your own like definitely check out the private like little boat but if you're you know not a very experienced boater or anything like that and you just kind of want it to be taken care of for you then there's definitely options for that here in Paros um, when we go to Santorini which will be tomorrow we go to Santorini we will be doing a catamaran tour so that again will be kind of that experience so it'll be nice to compare and contrast the two but yeah we're heading back to the Airbnb I desperately need to shower I just feel so like there's salt everywhere everywhere <laughs> um to take a shower and then I think for dinner tonight our goal is to find some really good euros because we haven't had that yet and that's like one of my favorite foods ever so yeah that's the plan and um we'll see you guys when we're about to get some euros so I googled best Euro in Nausa and this restaurant called Kargas Slovaki came up. It was a short walk from our Airbnb and ended up being one of my favorite meals the entire trip. It was just this little restaurant and we sat outside. The Euro was out of this world. It was so good and it was only four Euro. Such a steal. And also a fun fact, Greece Euros are more known for their pork or chicken, not lamb, which is what you find in the US. Then after we ate, it was time to do more shopping. I'm telling you, just window shopping and browsing in Paros was so much fun. They just have so many good stores here. We kept strolling around and stumbled upon this gorgeous church. I loved all the bright color in Greek churches, something you don't always see. It was also interesting to compare these churches to the ones we had just seen in Italy. They had just such a different vibe to them. And then to cap off the night, we had drinks at this gorgeous rooftop bar overlooking the marina. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, guys, we are back from our night out. It's our last night here in Paro, so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So we always like to share our three favorite things that we did. So do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. Um, three favorite things we did in Paros. I really liked like the beach day we had. That was so nice, especially after doing so much like sightseeing in uh, Venice and Verona and Italy in general. Like we were just really on the go a lot, so it was really nice to come here and just like chill. I also really like. I don't know if this is like my favorite. I don't know if this counts as my favorite thing, but I want to say that like the vibes here in Greece on the Greek islands are really nice. Like everyone here is on vacation basically. It kind of feels like when you go to Florida in the US and like, you know, everyone's just like having a good time. Everyone's being like really friendly and nice. And like all the wait staff was nice. And just, I don't know, I feel like people were just in Very a good mood. Yeah, yeah, laid back. So I really like that. And then honestly, I had so much fun shopping. We shopped kind of a lot. Like for us, we're not like big shoppers, but we did some shopping and so that was really fun. And okay, I guess it'll be my fourth thing, but the Euro we had tonight was so it was good. good. It was our first like authentic Greek Euro. Okay, does fries normally come standard on a Euro? No, I think that's just here in Greece. Well, like not in fun. America. It was pretty good. Yeah, so as you saw, they put like the French fries in the Euros and yeah, yeah. that was super good. Um, so yeah, those were my three four favorite things in Paris, what were yours? I definitely like the renting a boat. Mm -hmm. That I was like, fun to I like driving a boat. I mean, we went to the Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. It was very clear water. Yeah. Um, Looked like pool water almost. Yeah. yeah. Second thing, <laughs> I don't really shop much, but I got something. Yeah, so he was, was cool. he like walked into stores <laughs> like, I like that, tried it on and bought it. We'll yeah. do a haul, like that'll be a different video, but. Yeah, um, so that was cool. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the atmosphere. I, mm -hmm. I, it was super laid back. Mm -hmm. Very chill. I mean, everything is like 
you know, in, in the U.S., you probably go out to eat around 7, 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Everything is, like, I think two hours later, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, you'd ask how long a store is open till. They're open till like, 1, 2, yeah. 3, you know, a.m. Just, like, the shopping stores. Like, yeah. we're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, um, that's cool. Yeah. And I think this was a good introduction to, like, the Greek islands. I mean, this is our only one we've been to, so we'll yeah. we'll see how we feel once we go to Santorini. But I feel like it was like the vibes we wanted, but it wasn't too crazy busy, not too crazy expensive. Um, like we rented that boat today, and it was like two hundred euro, which I feel like will be double if we were to do that in like Santorini or Mykonos. So, yeah, yeah I really enjoyed the island. Um, I think two days was enough. Would you say? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was probably, like, a couple more things we could have done. Yeah, and if, I mean, so we did the beach day, which was Mm -hmm. really cool, so Mm -hmm. I guess that would be my fourth thing, but um, if you wanted to do multiple of those, like, you could definitely Oh, there's tons of beaches. You could definitely do multiple of those, for sure. Yeah, And, and I will say Paros is very, like, accommodating to all types of, like, travelers, so, like, that we saw families, couples groups like i saw a bachelorette group Mm -hmm. um so i feel like there's something for everyone here and yeah like i thought that was really nice where i know was like mykonos can be very much like a party island and maybe not so family friendly so if you're looking for more of a family friendly greek island this would be a really good one and yeah there's there's tons of things to do on the island but i think we got a good taste of peros and um i would definitely say do your homework on the food because you could definitely go astray (laughs) <laughs> and find some poor food more so than like the mainland yeah i mean we but we had we had bad luck today with the, maybe we just had bad luck i don't know but the euro was good we're talking about like that pizza we got that was yeah. that was just that was just not good experience yeah. but we weren't really expecting a lot but it just was one of those times where it's like not great um but yeah but our other dinners were good that we had the seafood yeah, yeah no, you really I, like the risottos you had yeah. seafood risottos the main places were good yeah, you're just talking about the one like yeah. stop and sh- stop, stop and grab go place. So yeah. yeah, but yeah, we really enjoyed Paros. And tomorrow we go on the ferry to Santorini, and I'm really excited. We're gonna be in Santorini for four days, so we're gonna be doing a lot. We're gonna be doing a wine tour, catamaran ride, eating at some of the famous restaurants. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss those vlogs. But yeah, that's it for Paros, and we will see you guys in Santorini. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free